I feel a literal draft right now. You can probably tell how awkward it feels. This is the high quality content you came here for. I hope that you're happy with this. Give it a like if, if you just wanna support me for putting these on. Hi guys, so today I wanna to talk about skinny jeans. I know that I don't necessarily show myself wearing skinny jeans very often, but I think that most people love them because they just slide on and contour to our unique body shape, which everybody has has different curves and different needs. So it sort of takes a lot of the legwork, not to make a terrible pun, um, out of trying to actually find something that works for you. But it also has some benefits as to just being really basic and matching the most basic tops or dressing them up. So they do have merit as being one of the wardrobe staples that you can try. And today I wanna compare a bunch of different ones together and just see how they are um, better in some ways than other ways. Uh, and so they're all kind of unique and I wanted to discuss how to find the right one for you. I'm gonna be returning a lot of these and just trying them on for you, reviewing them, and one is absolutely frightening. So we're gonna have a lot of fun today. So starting with the Everlane Way High Skinny Jean, this is in their dark wash. I was drawn to this because it had a very high rise. This is gonna be the highest rise that I share today. And I also really liked that it had this contrasting stitching. One thing to note is that they do have really quality um, materials. Organic is really important here. Um, I also just wanted something that had a very clean front. Because I have curves, I want my jeans to not over exaggerate that. So whenever I have a jean that has whiskering or a lot of distressing, and we're gonna get into that, it just takes away from the simplicity of a clean jean. So starting with the waist, it's perfect, it's high. Um, everything is perfect about that. I like the band thickness at the top as well. That's just really creating a very perfect look there. Then going down in the hip, I felt like that's where it started to go wrong in a lot of ways. It's a thinner fabric and then the sturdiness of the seam is making it bend. When I show my hip bending at all, it's starting to create this really odd indent that I don't really have with other types of pants that I wear similar to this. Then for the butt, it is the absolute perfect pocket placement. I felt like with it being a little bit slanted and having the pocket up higher, as well as just having a larger pocket, that is gonna be perfect if you have a body shape like mine. And we're gonna show the contrast of that when pockets get a little smaller and more square with these others. But this is a really good start for the actual pocket and booty shape. However, when it comes to the thigh, the fabric starts to crease and that's because it's not a sturdy fabric. So you're getting these little ripples in the back and that's a sign that this is not the right fit for me. Even if it were to stretch out with time, this is just gonna be a little bit awkward. I also feel like at a distance, this just feels so much like skin. You know, it doesn't really feel like I'm wearing a pant. It just feels like they're like plastered on. It doesn't really look the way that I want it to look. Also for length, it's gathering at the bottom. This doesn't come in an ankle length just yet to my knowledge. Um, I will link everything down below if you're looking for something like this. But if you don't mind hemming them, then that's not a big deal at all. When it comes to how easy they are to pull on, I would say they are incredibly easy, which is a make or break for me when it comes to skinny jeans. And the zipper stays put because it's a YKK zipper. So overall, I'm grading this with a plus two. Next, I'm trying the black ones. It's the same exact fit, but there is a significant difference when you move into a black skinny jean. It is going to de-emphasize your curves. It will make you look slimmer. And if you don't want that, if you already feel slimmer, then you want to actually add curves. If that's you, then you don't want to necessarily do a black one. I also wanna mention that in this pair, as well as the last one, I sized down to a 25. Um, normally, I would see myself as a 26, and I tried both, and these ones do fit better. 
I do think it needs to be a little bit on the um, tighter side at first because it will stretch a little bit with time and it will loosen. So for the hip, I felt like it was pinching less this time and then that rise is still staying right where it was before. In fact, there's a lot similar about this one. The pocket placement on the butt is the same, but obviously because it doesn't have that contrasting stitching, it's kind of losing that effect. And so I'm really just looking at the silhouette for this. For the thigh, it's starting to do those fabric creases again, and it needs to be sturdier in the back, but it's not as evident in this black shade. For the length, again, it's just going to gather at the bottom, and I don't want that. And then as for the ease, it's pretty great to just pop them on and zip it up, and it's right on. It's not going to be very troublesome. You don't need to like lay backwards on the bed and try to get them on or anything. And I will say, just as a side note, if you have a white fluffy cat like mine, you will be lint rolling uh, non-stop. It's just going to be a constant. So overall, this one again is a plus two and I'm going to move on to the mid wash of the same kind. This color is called Vintage Blue. One thing to note about each one of these is that they don't have the typical pocket here. So you're getting a clean line there, but this color I feel isn't doing as much a, of a benefit to my figure as opposed to the black ones and the ones that had that contrasting stitching. And I also just feel like I'm kind of lost in it. It's got a little bit of lightning here too, so that's interesting. But overall, this was not something that I was a fan of. It was a color that sort of was like, okay, it's, I don't know, I wasn't blown away by this and I really thought I would because I love anything that's sort of retro or vintage. Here again, the hip is better than the first ones. It's not really pinching quite as much. It's so interesting to me how each one of these different shades have a different combination inside the material, making them a completely different fit of a jean. So if you like the cut, try it in more than just one color, just because you're gonna be able to compare and contrast what works for you and what doesn't. For the butt, the pocket placement is perfect and there is some lift there, but there isn't really anything going on back there to define it very much because the seams of the pockets are not defined. Also the thigh, again, it's got the creases and it's got a little bit of distressing on it. So that's not going to help somebody who's actually trying to de-emphasize um, the curve of the thigh. It would rather have been better to have it completely clean like that first one. Of course, the length and the ease of putting it on didn't change at all, but that score went down one. So now it's a plus one for this pair, just because of that subtle lightening that it's almost a distressing there. And that is really making this not stand out quite as much as these others that were super clean and flattering. Next, I'm gonna share the Abercrombie jeans. And I'm gonna start with the super skinny high rise in black. I am not opposed to the style of Abercrombie jeans. I just feel like when I've worn them, everybody asks where the jeans are from, and that's a really good sign, but their customer service is truly awful. I once used a return label that came with my order, and then because I did not print out a new one, which added waste, they did not honor my return, and they told me to have a nice day with my gift card. So <laughs> much different than better companies I've tried. So I'm gonna start with this black pair so we can really see if we can top the Everlane one just in the sake of style. So right out of the gate, they got the size wrong. <laughs> so surprise, surprise, these are 25 regular. I asked for 26 short. I do have an example of that in a different color, so hopefully you can start there. Um, the material is something that has a lot of polyester and viscose in it, and then of course it has no distressing at all. So at least in the color, I'm really happy with that. Also, the rise is a little bit shorter than the Everlane ones before. Right out of the gate, what I see happening here is that this waistline has this smaller band. Because that's so thin and then the fabric is so stretchy that it's digging in and then it's sort of both out a lot more than something that would have had that thick line before. Also because it's down a little bit further, that might work for some body styles as opposed to mine, but for me, it's really just, it's okay. I think that if it were something that was sturdier, I could have worked with that. For the hip, I think that it's decent, but there is some rippling on the sides and it's just not as clean cut as that one of the Everlane version. For the butt, it's not bad, but there's not a lot of lifting happening, and then it's got those creases in the fabric back there too. And then for the length, it is something that you could hem, um, or at least roll up, but 
maybe because they sent me a regular i might have been a little bit longer than that of like a short and so for me i'm still gonna keep that error of docking at a point just because the customer service just really should have stepped up there um, for ease of pulling on, it was fine. The zipper is mediocre. Um, when you get a YKK zipper, which Everlane has and the other ones have as well, then you're gonna get that quality. But these that are just straight up Abercrombie and Fitch, I think they're okay, um, but they just have a little bit more of a drag to them, if that makes sense but they do stay put. Overall, I would rate this as a negative four in my books. This is the worst one yet to me. I feel like the distribution center of Abercrombie really gets this wrong a lot where they give you the wrong size or whatever. One time I literally found someone's grocery list in my pocket and it was saying like avocados and Kleenexes and it was just way too personal trying that on. <laughs> So for the sake of comparison, I'm gonna show the light wash. This one has a lot of that distressing right off the bat. Um, this is also an ankle, so the length is a little bit different, and this is in a 26 short as opposed to these 25s. So the material makeup is quite different as well. It feels softer. Um, it just feels like something that's a little bit more enjoyable to wear. I think that the most considerable change with this pair is the pockets in the back. The butt just has a flattering shape, but then the pockets are just so much smaller than the Everlane version that if you really want your booty to look larger, then you can choose those smaller pockets, but a pocket choice for me needs to be large and on top. That's gonna really de-emphasize the butt to pocket ratio. Um, also, just a few things, obviously that waistline has that thinner band still, and then on the hip, it's got a flattering contour. It definitely does. It feels like such a soft pair of jeans, but the whiskering is designed to widen. That's not a great look for me. So this would be a wonderful pair to have if you want to add some curves and wear something that's a bit lighter in color. For the thigh, it's actually pretty great. It doesn't have a lot of the creases and the distressing is subtle back there. And then also the length is perfect. To have this short length is wonderful, but it was not easy to put on. It kind of felt like, you know, when you're putting on scuba gear, <laughs> that's the level of intensity I had from that. But the zipper, again, mediocre, didn't take too much time to put on. It wasn't difficult, it didn't slide down. So those are good things, but it still isn't the best zipper. Overall, I'm gonna rate this with a negative two. Next, I'm trying it in white. This again is going to have the 26 uh, short, and so that's gonna be perfect for my body proportions. Um, other than that, I would say that it's wonderful to not have any of these distressing lines, so let me show you what that looks like. Okay, I'm actually wearing black underwear under this so you can really see if this is going to be see-through or not. I'm actually pretty happy with these. The waist does have that thin band, but overall the uh, fabric isn't going to be digging in anywhere. There's gonna be some creases, but with having that just white color up and down, it's not going to highlight that very much. And the butt has dream pockets and a flattering shape, so I really couldn't be happier with this pair in particular. Also, the length could be an inch shorter, and so that would have been perfect for me, but I think that that's just like a minor setback when it comes to the fact that I can just get them hemmed or roll them a little bit. So the ease of pulling them on, again, it was kind of difficult, and that zipper, Abercrombie & Fitch, I just wish that they had YKK zippers. Overall, I would say that this is a plus one in my scorebook. I also think that it's not a bad jean. I just would have liked it to have a little bit thicker of a fabric, but it's not sheer, so I'm okay with it as is. So this next one is a bit of an experiment because so many of you have asked me, why do you always choose high rise? Why don't you try mid rise? Is there anything wrong with mid rise? Well, I'm gonna show you and hopefully your eyes don't burn. <laughs> but for me in particular, having a long torso makes these seem like low rise and it's just wrong in all the ways. Um, I also just wanna say that like, if you have a shorter torso and this fits you the way that a high rise fits me, it's accomplishing the same goal. So I'm not like bashing this in particular. I'm not bashing mid rise if that's something that really works well for you. But yeah, um, yeah, let's get started. <laughs> not going great so far. I already have a zipper issue going on. It's like fraying. I feel a literal draft right now. <laughs> All right, so this is the mid-rise super skinny ankle jean. Um, it's a 26 short and you can probably tell how awkward it feels. <laughs> this is the high quality content you came here for. I hope that you're 
happy with this. Give it a like if, if you just want to support me for putting these on. Um, negative three on the waist, it is not a good placement for me. I don't even have shirts that I think would go with this, so it's definitely not going to be something that I keep. Um, the bandwidth didn't change, but because it's so low <laughs> that it literally doesn't look out of proportion anymore. Overall, I feel like I have my proportions completely shifted. I feel like my torso is super long. I feel like my legs are super short and it's just not the right thing for my proportions. This is why when I say what not to wear, I'm not like bashing anybody's body. It's literally just fabric and you can tell the difference between what I was wearing and this. Um, overall, yeah, it's just not really something that's vibing with me. As for the hip, the distressing on it isn't really doing me any favors. The curves are stunted visually, and so then when it comes to the booty, the pockets are placed too low, the cheeks look a little bit rectangular, it looks like they melted in the sun in my personal opinion, and then for the thigh, the fabric is just lightened and that makes the thighs look wider. So if you're looking for something that really will accentuate your curves, um, but you don't want it to, I don't know, maybe if, if you had different proportions than me and different curves than me, this might be absolutely a dream pair, but for me, it is definitely not working. Also, the length, that's the positive here. The ankle length looks cropped and it's asymmetrical, which is gonna lengthen, especially if you wanna try cropped and you feel like it's shortening, then having something that's asymmetrical will sort of blur that line. The ease of pulling it on, that was pretty difficult. And the zipper, you know, because it's fraying already, that's not good. I've worn them, as in worn, I've like put them on my body twice. <laughs> so not great there as well. Um, All together, I would rate this as a negative 14. I'm getting used to the drafts, by the way. So that's a good sign. Um, I am concerned about like if my underwear is showing, but that's a different story. So this is the Nico High Rise Slim Fit in the shade Chronicle from the brand A Goldie. A Goldie is one of my favorite jeans brands. The price is a little bit higher, but hopefully you can start to understand where the quality is going, where they're going the extra mile in regards to the different levels that I'm grading here. And so I actually am going to try the Nico High Rise Slim Fit in a few different uh, variations for the shades because the material Material makeup is entirely different from one to the next. The Nico High Rise Slim Fit is a little bit different than a traditional skinny jean just because it is not truly slimming on the calf. But I feel like if you just prefer um, somewhere between a skinny jean and a straight jean, then this is going to be absolutely perfect for you. One thing that I have learned in my super powerful research all-knowingness about jeans now is that lyocell is a material that is sturdy yet stretchy, but it's incredibly soft. It feels like silk almost. And so when I first put on a pair of A. Goldies that had lyocell in it, which is an expensive uh, material versus cotton, then I was instantly like, oh my gosh, these are the softest jeans that I've ever put on. And that's why it's got lyocell mostly in these Chronicle ones. It also wicks away moisture, which I feel like is a really positive note if you're going into summertime at all. Automatically, the waist is in a much better placement than the one previously. So happy with this. Also, the button fly means that it's going to be a very sturdy jean. And so it's got a slimming line, but it's also just properly placed. The hip, however, um, it's got some distressing, but it holds everything in place for a perfect contour. So that thicker material is just smoothing everything without constricting. For the butt, it's got a much smoother fabric. So here again, it's gonna stay lifted. Um, it's not gonna make the butt shapeless or anything. And then the pockets are just perfect, but they could have been angled a little bit more like what we saw in the Everlane one. That's just sort of a personal preference in my opinion, but I'm so happy with how smooth and like perfectly aligned this is. It's almost like this like question mark shape and I, I love it. The thigh is great as well. That smoothing fabric is going to have a little bit of creasing, but it's gonna stay very contoured. And then the length, it says that it's a 27 inch inseam. I'm sure that I could hem these, but I don't really think I would just because the looser fabric on my calves is gonna make this a little bit more of something I can work with when it comes to styling it with shoes. 
For ease of putting on, I thought that that was okay. The buttons sort of keep everything locked in. They make it easy to put on. But of course, skinny jeans are skinny jeans at the end of the day. It's gonna be a little bit difficult to put them on. Overall, my score of these is five. They are incredible. In fact, they're the best ones yet. Next is the shade Cabana. It is the same jean, but of course the material makeup is completely different, the color is completely different, and they are very specific on how they style this. So now that I've got them on, I can totally tell how this is a completely different jean. It fits differently. In fact, the waist is a lot slimmer. It's the same size, it's just they've made this differently. So I can see a big gap in my back. Some people ask me how I should um, recommend sizing when you get this big difference between how the waist fits and how the hip fits. You need to size for the widest point and then get it tailored from there. That's the most ideal way to handle that situation. Um, this again has a very smooth and flattering feel. Um, it's got a little bit of indent on it and of course those whiskering you know, stripes on here are widening, but it's not as big of a deal to me because the wash is dark. For the butt, I love the silhouette. It's like a dream. It's everything I would have wanted. The pockets are large and high, good for me, but it could have been angled up a bit again. So obviously they've made the pocket placement the same between the two, just everything else seems to be different as far as the look and feel. I think the biggest difference between this pair and the one before is that this one has 96% cotton. Some of it is recycled cotton as well. And then it's got like polyester and just one percent of elastane in it. As for the thigh, it's got minimal creasing and that darker color is gonna really make this just fade away. And so I'm really happy with that. For the length, um, it's okay. I think that you'd need to, again, just sort of uh, get it hemmed up or roll it, and so it's not gonna be great on that scenario. If it were an actual true ankle length, I could have worked with that better. The ease of pulling it on, um, perfect, and the buttons kept everything locked in. So overall, this is a score of four. Next, I'm going with Cliffside. It's a lighter wash. It's a much more mature fit. And also, I would say that the makeup of this is completely different. It's got 59% organic cotton, and then the rest is really rayon with just 1% stretch. And so that's gonna make this something that is a loose, well, like a thin material, um, but it's gonna be really form-fitting as well. For the waist, butt, and hip, everything is smooth and flattering. I love the shape of this. I would keep these if I didn't have one I really like before it. But overall, it does have a little bit of creasing, but it has a wonderful shape. Again, I think that the length could be a little bit higher, up like an inch, but I'm okay with that. And then the ease of pulling it on, I would say that it was a little bit difficult, but just having those button flies, I think it's just something that really is great if you're gonna have a sturdier fabric like this. My overall score of this is a five. Because it's so similar to the Chronicle, I feel like it's apples to apples there. Then you can look at the material makeup and see what you want. For these cliff sides, they have a thinner fabric and that's gonna make them crease a little bit more. And also it's less shaping. So it's got that subtle difference of the material makeup, but it's making me want the Chronicle more than the cliff side. As a baseline, this is a pair that I purchased a couple of years ago. I wanted to kind of share what they look like after after I've worn them for this time because when I first reviewed them for you guys, I was thinking, well, maybe this will stretch out. I don't know how I feel about something that's this uh, stretchy in my personal opinion. Well, two years later, I can confirm they are awesome. They are one of my favorites and they're the same Nico Slim Fit, but they are in the shade Headlines. And so what I get out of this is that it's much more of a cute style than some of these more grown up ones here. And so let's, let me just try it on and I'll show you the different things I love about it. So when I first put these on in 2020, I thought they were the softest pair of jeans that I've ever tried. And that's because of that Lyocell again. It was the first time I tried a pair of jeans that had Lyocell in it and I was obsessed with that. I just thought it was the most, it felt silky and it still does. It doesn't feel more rigid with time. It feels even softer. So for the waist, um, it's sturdy but it's also very form-fitting. So it's the absolute dream perfect fit. For the hip, I would say that it again is smooth and it's flattering and that Lyocell is gonna make it flexible but soft. So it's sturdy, flexible, and soft and I don't understand how that could possibly be but it just is and I'm not gonna question it. Um, it's also not a scrunched feeling. It feels like something I could easily sit in all day. 
So on the booty, they designed this in such a way where there's a little strip of dye on one of the pockets and that keeps the eye lifted. So it's a cute and casual design if that's what you're looking for. And then for the thigh, I would say that it's got some creasing, but it's not as noticeable in the design just because the pocket has that dye so the eye moves there instead of anywhere else. As for the length, it is something that's really cool because it has a little slit on the inside of the inseam and that is so fun because it makes me be able to wear them with boots, like ankle boots, um, or just to have a little bit of an extra style and flair makes that actually literally flare out at the bottom, which is nice. Of course, everything is locked in, the buttons keep it right in place there, and it's lasted all these years later with a complete breeze. Overall score for these is a six best so far. I just love these and they do have sort of a youthful look to them so I have to style them intentionally so it feels right to me but some distressing is okay if it's well designed and I just have found that I love Lyocell in jeans. Next is the shade Drift. This is a dark wash and I recently found that it is the best seller on Revolve so that's incredible. Um, if you're looking for something that's worked for so many other people I can totally tell why. This is a very mature jean. It feels like something you could wear for the rest of your life as long as it doesn't stretch out too much. And then also I would say that the material makeup of this is got that rayon. It doesn't have lyocell in it. Um, there is just a little bit of distressing here. Something that doesn't have whiskering but that lightening here. So we have to decide if we want that. For the waist, it's a perfect fit. I'm really happy with this so far. It's very form-fitting. It is a little bit tight, but I think that that will give with time. And then for the hip, it is smooth, it's flattering, and I love that it looks more grown up. I feel like it does more than the other designs. For the butt, um, eh, I think it's okay because I like that the die design on the top of the pocket is still there, so it's keeping the eye lifted, but I do not like the booty shape as much because of the material makeup. It doesn't have enough elasticity in it, and so it makes the butt, some people call it pancakey, but it looks sort of boxy in my opinion. It's like my body didn't know where to move the booty, and so it's sort of creating this like, indent here that I'm not a fan of. I don't feel like that's doing me enough favors as opposed to these other ones. For the thigh, there is some creasing happening, but it's less noticeable because of where the eye is directed with that little strip of dye on the pocket. And then for the length, I do love this length and I do like that it's got some fraying on the hem, which is a nice touch. As far as how easy it is to put on, I had a lot of struggles trying to get this on. I think it's because as compared to the Lyocell version, which has more elasticity, that this is something that's just much more difficult. It takes some time to get it on. And once you're in it, it's fine, but it's a tighter jean um, and it also has very little stretch. So overall, I would grade this as a five. I think that it's a lovely jean. Um, it's grown up. I like the style of it. I can see why other people are a fan of it and it's designed very well. I just wish that it had a little bit more of a shape to it, especially at the booty and the hip. And finally, this is the A Goldie Nico High Rise Slim Fit in Rooted. So in this version, I am a big fan and there's a lot of reasons why, mostly because of the material makeup being so soft and stretchy. It's got that lyocell, it also has 2% elastane and then some organic cotton mixed in as well. These are a home run. I loved everything about it. Everything was a win. The waist was sturdy, um, but it's also form-fitting. Again, that lyocell is so critical. Um, that hip is just beautiful as well. The, it's just smooth, it's contoured. Um, the butt also has amazing contours and lift, and it's just keeping the eye focused on the higher part of the booty by having that little tiny pocket hole on it. And if you're not really a fan of having like holes in your jeans, this is a really subtle way to do that. The thigh, finally, I'm getting something that has minimal creasing on it. And then it's very smooth. It's not distressed. It's just very lovely. This wasn't even a jean I thought, you know what, these are my favorite when I first saw them. But when I started deconstructing this, I was like, wow, this is an incredible pair. For the length even, it's perfect because it's got that asymmetrical cut, which is lengthening. It also would work well for anyone because if you wanted to wear it and you're much taller than me, then it's just a cropped jean and that's lovely too. It was even pretty easy to put on, especially compared to the last pair. So overall, I'm gonna rate it as a six. 
Again, it's a very grown up design and I wasn't sure if a lighter wash would work for me. I wasn't sure about a lot of things with this, but once I put it on, it's soft. It's got everything I love about the headlines that I currently own and this is such an upgrade too as well. This is why a Goldie might charge a little bit more for their jeans. They've got some tasteful designs. They also have some really high quality fabrics that are actually creating a smoother appearance. And so you're paying for the things that you're getting. So that's great. As far as the different brands, um, you know, you can use your own judgment on this for what works for you. For me, I loved everything about a Goldie, but I did like the rise of the Everlane ones. And I liked how clean they were, especially not even having these pockets in the front. So that's something to consider for yourself. I felt like the Abercrombies were a more affordable option and they are much stretchier, a bit trendier, and they cut costs in places where you might have a cheaper jean. But overall, I think that I would just have fewer and better. And so these are the types that I would probably keep. If you've made it this far, well done, good on you. Um, <laughs> that's a lot of dedication, it's a lot of jeans. But if you did, please let me know if you want more clothing reviews because this is something that I would love doing. This was really fun to me. So just let me know if you're getting value out of that as well. And with that, I will see you next time, bye.